Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Craft. I've been doing a little behind the scenes work and uh, going and gathering a few things, getting blocks and digging up fossils and such and uh, boy do I have some interesting things to show you guys. First off, all these uh, vases, this um, Amphora, uh, the root. And um, this Kelix here. And on the map, you can see I found a little village which had a paleontologist uh, house. And a tar pit, which I've been collecting some tar fossils from, and they're in the analyzer now. But way over here is a mesa biome, which I found some cactuses for uh, making cactus green. <clears throat> now, this little, little oasis here had something very interesting from one of my other mods. In addition to dinosaurs in this playthrough, we'll be having dragons. Now, I found this over there. I haven't hatched it yet. This is going to be later on, whenever we can get more established. <laughs> While I was looking, I've seen another one over here it looks different. So we'll go check that out later on. As of right now, we have lots and lots of new DNA through Megalodon. Asmotherium, Paleorafe trees. Alright, so. Our DNA roster has gotten quite large. A uh, zombie paleontologist here that I caught at the village using a, a net in the uh, mop nets mod. As you can see, there are quite a few. Ooh. Cool. Zombie pigman. Quite a few things, artifacts, and things like that. Now, since we have some cactus green, we are going to make a culture vat. So, for the culture vat, I'll need three iron ingots, glass, which I need to make more of. A bucket of water, also found some sturgeons, hopefully those will make uh, a lot of meat for our future Piscivores, such as a Spinosaurus or Megalodon or something like that. Alright, water bucket. Cactus screen, iron, water bucket, glass, glass, cultivator. And I'll put it right here. Cool. That's some new stuff. These paleorathe trees. Skeleton figurine. Stone tablet. It's looking cool. And an ancient sword. Let's have a broken ancient helmet. Six attack damage, so it's basically exactly the same as an iron sword. That's still cool. Little artifact. Okay. <clears throat> what to make first? Hmm. We have choices of Lasmotherium, Megalodon, 
that's out since we don't have an aquarium yet. Blenkin, Velociraptor, or Allosaurus. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I think we'll go with the Elasmotherium. Because we have this whole like autumn forest over here. There's this big area that's kind of flat in the middle. And I was thinking about just clearing out, making this kind of big plains area in the, in the middle here for all the uh, Ice Age animals. And then we have this big redwoods area over here where a lot of the dinosaurs can go. And lots of plains over here for some of the bigger dinosaurs like sauropods. This place is pretty isolated. I mean, it's, it's cut off by a little peninsula here. Haven't really explored over here much. I did see a little island over here. Interesting. Maybe something can be done on that island later on. But in the meantime... I think what we'll go with is Elasmotherium for now. Just because I have a great idea about it and exhibit to set up for. Alright, so. I need to go get some milk for my cows, because that's the best type of food for. Oh, I am hungry. Now these backpacks are great for storing things. Salmon. Oh, also, need a Dinopedia. Alright. These little maggots sometimes drop slime balls. They're needed for a few things. Hmm. I think I want to bring the cow on over here. I'm gonna make a lead. I have one slime ball that I got from my maggot earlier. Let's see, slime ball. Two leads. Okay. Let's see if we can get a cow over here. Should be some over here in the forest. Hmm. I didn't even notice this. It's a little paleontologist hut. Right over my backyard. So once I walked past it as I was exploring. Is he home? Well, maybe. Hmm. Guess he's not home. It's pretty neat though, just finding that there. One thing about this area is it needs a bridge because there is a huge ravine. Look at this. Just separating. I don't want to go. So I want to build it over here. I'm going to make a road that goes all the way up through here and then make a bridge that crosses somewhere over here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a cow over here somewhere. I'm gonna go hunt down that cow and I'll cut back to you guys whenever I find it. Now, let's see about getting some milk. A little bit farther. Mm. 
Okay. Let's get this milk in the cultivator. And oh, as Ethereum. Go grab another of the milk just in case. Glass also tar drops. Various kinds of wood and saplings. Alright, so while I was over there with the uh, getting the cow, kind of cleared off a little space for the Lasmotherium pen. I'm about to go back over there now. Uh, And clear that out a little bit. Looks pretty good so far. I like the area. It looks real nice. So I think that is where we're going to put the Elasmotherium. Okay. Weeds in the backpack. Bring some iron, like axes. All right. Just gonna make a simple path for now. There we go. Try to collect as many of these saplings as I can. All the deforestation. That's annoying. This is already looking much more open.
This tree chopper mod makes clearing forests so much easier. So much easier. Oh, that's pretty well cleared. Cool. I think what I'll do now is An impassable area. You need to do a lot of sifting with all this dirt. I don't know why that horse just kind of scared me. It was very loud. Quite a bit of Ice Age DNA. Two Lincolns, Megalotheros Quagga, and another Elasmotherium. We could get a male and a female breeding pair. Heck yeah. I think I'll make another cultivator or two. And just have those on the go while we're gone. Definitely gonna need to build the genetics lab pretty soon. Glass. And, and the iron, cactus bean, and 
and cactus green and a bucket of water. We'll put this cultivator in. <laughs> We are definitely running out of room. Mm. We are definitely running out of room. Don't really need it right now, so let's put this one in storage. I think I'll start construction on the genetics lab off camera and just finish it up with you guys here. All right, here I think. Let's see how it looks. First pair of Rafe sapling. Let's see, I'll probably put the genetics lab right over here. So this area, I'll. Mm, I might make this whole like big place into like a Gallimimus paddock or something later on. No? Really Rathe. Boom. Looks beautiful. Some more. Vegetables harvested. Here, so I can really fill up that feeder. Carrots and seeds. I think I'll just make this whole field into wheat. This into hay bins. Nice. Plenty of leftovers. Alright, I think this will be plenty. How long has this got? Halfway. Alright. Since I can't wait any longer, let's go make our first resort creature. Ghost. Turbine. I think in here I might have the T Rex in this forest. If there is an Asaurus. I have like a an aviary dome right here. I've not seen cows earlier. So we'll finish up this area. Yeah, there's already a cow in here. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this up real quick and I'll jump back whenever we're ready to uh, make the cow have a rhinoceros. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, here we go. Boom. And that's it.
Where did I put my data media? Oh, marvelous. Yeah, I almost went right in front of me. Yes. Okay. How's it doing? Twelve percent. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's intimidating. Future plans. I may expand this a bit more, depending on how many animals we decide to put in here. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just dam this off and use this as like a little bit of aquatic area for like plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs and things like that. Maybe dam this up too. I know this little this bay here. The prime habitat for a Mosasaur Megalodon. Hmm. I'm gonna try to keep things localized around here. Fourteen percent. Ten percent. Alright folks, it's almost ready. 97%, 98 percent, 99. Oh, so now what is it? Is it a, it's a female. Awesome. Oh yeah, they can eat ancient ferns, great. So tiny. <laughs> Little Lasmatherium. <laughs> and night falls. And I think uh, that's about where we're going to end up tonight, folks. So, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment if you would like to see more, and give suggestions about what I should do next. Uh, subscribe if you would like. I would greatly appreciate it. It will help this channel grow. So, tune in next time. See you guys.